tell him why he didn't make the play. He has to recommit, mm -hmm. and you know, it builds character, builds all those things you want in a football player. You don't win them all, mm -hmm. right? Um, so when they fail, it's my time to step in and coach. So I, you know, I kind of welcome it, just not on Saturdays. Is that the same process that Emmanuel went through? Yeah, they all go through it, you know, um, and he did too. His were his were a little bit overshadowed by the fact that he made so many other plays, mm -hmm. uh, but he went through the same things. And what you try to do is make the mistakes small, mm -hmm. right? The small mistakes, so you can get on, coach them up, and then make, they make the big plays. So. You may have already touched on this, but what's your thoughts on Marcus Banks and his development? Yeah, man, Marcus, I, I, I love it. You know, he he has been steady Eddie for us, man, and been ready at any time that we've needed him thus far this season. And he continues to get comfortable within the defense and how we play things that are at the cornerback position because it's completely opposite from what he's coming from. Um, and he's really taking it on. He, and he, he's grown every week. I mean, he's a leader on special teams. I mean, you see him out there on special teams making plays all the time. Hadn't complained. When he gets in on defense, he makes plays. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him play more as the season progresses. We've created a lot of turnovers this year as a defense. Just mm -hmm. what, how is that transpired? I mean, just aggressive nature of what y'all trying to do out there? Yeah. I mean, what Coach Arnett harps on and what we all back is – takeaways man get that ball be physical fly around be violent and when you do that good things happen for you so that's kind of been our philosophy this season how much pride do you take in the fact that every week Emmanuel's getting advanced to another watch list another semifinalist or finalist for an award you know you know I, I, I like it but I don't ever tell him that right it, <laughs> it reminds me to humble him mm -hmm. and which he's such a great kid I've never had to mm -hmm. uh, so but I shoot him a text and tell him this means nothing to me right mm -hmm. Re reset, reload, let's get on to the next week. And he doesn't even need that text anymore. He might as a freshman, mm -hmm. but now he does, and he's matured in a way that which he ha he knows teams first and W's are first, and um, he looks forward to getting a W more than anything. You had, you had him, uh, you played at that level. What what skills do you see Junior having that, that in transition to the pros? All of them. <laughs> I mean, Obviously, the physical traits, right? The great ball skills, the length, the speed, the quickness, the change of direction, all those things. But above the neck, he is he is elite, right? He can remember things. You can coach him up. He can he can draw on things. We draw on things from weeks ago on the sideline. Hey, remember when we did this? Yeah, and he can pull it out of the bag. Um, he's just, he's a sharp kid, man. I and I think that's what's going to separate. What do you think?